Today, as we gather to celebrate the culmination of years of hard work and perseverance, I am filled with a sense of humility and gratitude. I feel honored to be standing before you as the valedictorian of the 2024 graduating class. I would like to thank all those who have helped me get to where I am today. My family, friends, teachers, coaches, and most importantly, God. I hope all of you will someday find God's purpose for your lives. He is a provider of strength, the ultimate source of comfort, hope, and guidance. We should never forget those who have worked behind the scenes to ensure our success. Moms, dads, teachers, coaches, friends, family, the ones who have been our pillars of strength, our sources of inspiration, and our unwavering support systems. Their belief in us has fueled our journey and pushed us forward in pursuit of our goals. We've all been on the same road up to this point, but now our paths are splitting apart. Some of us are headed to college, others to the workforce or military. We're headed off to do bigger and better things. However that looks for you, I wish you well and offer you the following pieces of advice as we leave Eastern Yemen. Practice gratitude, keep your motives pure, and embrace failure as an opportunity. While it is often tempting to focus on the negatives, I encourage you to find something to be grateful for as you reflect on your high school experience. We've made friends, built relationships, and developed our characters. Carry this practice of gratitude with you. Remember that life is about finding joy and fulfillment, which is not based, of, uh, based upon how much you have, but rather how much you don't need. Learn to be thankful in your circumstances. Gratitude is a mindset. And I challenge all of you to put on this mindset as you enter out into the real world. Now take a second to experience this. Think of yourself sitting down after a long day of hard work. You look down at a plate of food and think of having to clean the pile of dishes you have sitting beside the sink. How do you feel? Irritated, annoyed, perhaps angry? Now imagine yourself in the same situation, but instead of thinking about cleaning the dishes, you look down and see your favorite meal. It's fresh, too. How do you feel now? Thankful? Happy? Maybe even refreshed? Changing your style of thinking towards gratitude is refreshing and healthy to your mental state. You just saw how you can think of a pile of dirty dishes and complain, or you could be thankful for the food you ate. Think for a moment about all the situations you could be thinking of the positives instead of the negatives. If you change your attitude, you can change your life. Don't curse the darkness, but instead, light a candle. In addition to developing an attitude of thankfulness, keep your motives pure. We must strive to be better in a world that rewards everyone for being average. As I look at each one of you, I see one thing, potential. We are a generation poised to make a difference, to challenge the status quo, to push boundaries, to redefine what is possible. With this great potential also comes great responsibility. We must use our talents and abilities for the greater good, to uplift those around us and make a positive, lasting impact on the world. Let us pursue our goals wholeheartedly and with sincere determination. Do not settle for a participation trophy. Strive instead for true excellence. Excellence starts right here and right now. In the words of Colin Powell, if you are going to achieve excellence in big things, you develop the habit in little matters. Excellence is not an exception. It's a prevailing attitude. Finally, as we move on to this next stage of life, we will fail. Failure is not final. It's an important part of the process of reaching your potential. In fact, you must fail something before you can get better at it. Sometimes you fail over and over in order to learn what you really need to do to be great at something. Failure is the stepping stones to success. I've learned this valuable lesson in baseball. Every time I'm struggling and making a mistake, I think to myself, what can I do next time to become more successful? Baseball is a game that has many parallels to life. For instance, the Hall of Famer Cal Ripken said that his own baseball career prepared him for the trials of managing his own business. In one interview, he asserted, it takes a lot of practice and a lot of work. It doesn't just happen by snapping your fingers. I think all athletes are not afraid to work and not afraid to work incrementally towards something that they aspire to do. Anything of value in life will take time and consistent effort despite failing over and over again. I encourage you to keep an open mind and learn from past mistakes while also moving forward. To reflect on failure is not the same as dwelling on failure. If you keep your eyes in the rearview mirror, you'll ultimately crash. Welcome the chance to grow, press on, and celebrate the valleys as well as the peaks. I want you all to know that you're overcomers. You've conquered challenges, your mountains, so to speak, and have made it to this stage tonight. 
If mountains continue to stand between you and your dreams, put on your, put on your climbing shoes. Don't delay. Start your journey now. Thank you, and may God bless you on your journey.